I did roost, but it was for myself. There's a couple of nailer and a guy passing the passing the shingles. I'll tell you what, state of Florida, there ain't no way I'd put shingles on the roof. Just be them steel panels, buddy. Shingle on the roof, huh? I re roofed my house. I had shingles pouring that thing. Fifteen years that sucker was leaking. And so I went to the place where you buy the steel and had them cut me the panels the length I wanted. And I guess tomorrow I'm going to need to go buy Miss Caroline and Daniel's home watching TV, maybe eating dinner. I wonder if the lady put me out in the cans today. Hey, squirrel. No, no cans. You got a nice big old garage and there ain't no way in the world you get a car in there. <laughs> Spoil everything but a car. What kind of plant that is? I don't have a clue. Does any of my subscribers have know what that is? I don't have a clue. I'll bet you the, uh, the frost or the freeze will freeze that out. And we do get freezing weather here, not a lot. But we get it. What you up to today, my man? Moving over there at that other house. Oh, you're moving? Yeah, I had my closing the other day. You go past your house to the end, make a left, and it's the one on the right with the sliding glass doors. Oh, okay. Yeah. More room? Yeah, it's more square footage. Brian let me use his trailer. Okay. Uh, but... Well, remember, if you got any junk, wire, electric, anything like that, not right now, but if I do, I'll put it aside. Yeah. I give you everything I got, so. Okay, I appreciate it, my friend. What is that thing? What thing? This here? Yeah. That's a juicer. I picked it up 
Nice. On the curb, I'm gonna give it to this lady down here that has the yard sale. Oh yeah, yeah, Lauren. Couple of yeah. Lauren. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember her name. Yeah, Tim. Uh, uh, Jordan plays with her son. Oh, okay. He jumps on his bike and rides down there and plays. Okay. Is that your grandson? No, he's my son. He's your son? Yeah. How old are you? 65. Uh -huh. <laughs> 50, 57. What you doing with a son? <laughs> no, um, let me see. 55, 65, 54, the year I was born. That's when I had them. Wow. Well, you know what? I wish I had some more coming along, but I don't. I'm on my last kid now. He's 11. So. Your son is 11? No, my he's my grandson. I, I don't have any sons. In, my son died in 86 in a car accident with a damn Greyhound bus. Wow. Yeah, they, son of a bitch, that, that bus driver was going about 70. I was just gonna say that seventy. Yeah, in, in a in a, a a school zone. Really? Yep, out there at, uh, on uh, three hundred one four forty one split down there at Spar. There wasn't any signs up, but there, you know it was flashing lights and all that stuff. But he was doing seventy through there, and of course the girl that was driving the car that my son was in, she should have never pulled out in front of him, but she didn't. According to what the state trooper said, she probably didn't realize that bus was going that fast. And it, it, it hit them in the side and, and killed them both. 86. He was 14. Uh, oh, my God. One of them things. And we're losing enough children from this disease going around. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Am. I, my daughter, you know, me and my daughter live together, and I got my three grandsons there. I see your daughter out in front of the house sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, she works at Walmart, and she hates her job. I don't, I, I'm don't. i surprised she hates her job. She's been there five years. Uh, my, my middle grandson, the one that's going to college, he works there overnight. What is your first name again? Russell. Russell. Yeah. I'm like... Oh, that guy, the junk dauber. I don't know his name. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, I take stuff down. I figure they're struggling down there a little bit, so I try Russell, to... So I'm Joey. Look, it's on the back. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, uh... You know, from the back in the day, the decals for the race car? Yeah. I always had a bunch of them, so I had that on the top of my toolbox, and I put it on the back. They're like, Joey, you didn't have to put your name on the back. We know it's you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to take this stuff down there to her. Yeah. And I get so many new socks from the VA and stuff that i probably got 200 pairs of uh, diabetic socks. You know, Some Steve, of them I've never even opened. Who? You, Steve, he always welcomes us at the Cascades when we walk in. Sometimes in he's in a. Uh, sometimes he's in an. Electric. Oh yeah, I didn't know his name, but I I've seen him. Yeah. Big guy. Yeah. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Steve, how are you? And then I go over to my appointment. Yeah. Yeah, you're a veteran too, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for the VA. I don't I have. Do, I do have Care Plus because I got Medicaid. Yeah. And that's basically because of Jordan. Yeah. I don't know what I do either, but if you need a faster appointment, I go to Care Plus and they'll get me right in. Yeah. But other than that, like October 21st, they're going to do an upper GI, um, a CAT scan up in Gainesville. She said, no, you don't have to walk through that long hallway to Shans. You got your, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't walk that hallway, so... Uh, so with that being said, she goes, no, no, no. As soon as you walk in where the parking lot is, it's right on the uh, second floor. You go up one floor and it's right there. They must have changed that around. Because yeah. uh, radiology used to be in that long hallway that goes to Shans. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
You know, my son has one of them hoverboards. Yeah. And I know how to ride it. I said, I'm bringing a hoverboard if I got to walk in that hallway. Because you know, it's all nice and flat tile. Yeah. You just. Whoosh. They'll yeah. probably tell me I can't, but I'm not walking that. Yeah. But it's, thank God, when you walk in from that parking lot, you know where you park? Mm-hmm. You know where the bus stop is? And yeah. The, you know where you smoke? They got them that little place where you walk in. Mm-hmm. Right in that door. Jump on the elevator, and it's one floor up, so. And I got to be there at 7.45 in the morning. Because they only do, they, they don't do that all day. Only in the morning and late at night. I don't, uh, I don't drive myself when I gotta go to Gainesville. I just get on the shuttle over here and they take me over. At the Cascades? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they take me over and then they put me in a dang wheelchair and wheelchair me to wherever I'm going. And, cool. and when I'm ready to go back to where they're picking you up, take you back, they wheelchair me to that. Russell, can you walk? I, I can walk, but not far. Yeah. Not far. Did you smoke when you were younger? I smoked. I was a three pack a day smoker till 1979. Wow. So I've been quit a long time. And that was easily, smoking to me, that was fairly easy for me to quit. The hardest thing for me is getting away from that damn table and, and not eating so damn much. Um. You know I'm in N.A., right? You know uh, what this is? N.A., National... No. What is that? Narcotics Anonymous. You know A.A.? Yeah. I'm re I'm in recovery, it's called. Oh, alcoholic? I don't drink, I don't drug, I don't I don't use nothing. So you know, I know that when you told me about your son, that's why I said that, we're losing. I hear about it every day, kids, kids o overdosing and... You know, they got that amnesty program and yeah. you read the newspaper. That started right here in Marion County. And that girl, Kathleen, that used to live there, she was a part of that. She lives near Jervie Gant now with that guy, Henry, that she was yeah. with. Those people that, that drink, they're, they're new over there. But Kathleen, she was part of starting that amnesty program. Yeah. If you have a drug problem, you go to Ocala Police Department, I'm sure you read it in the paper sometime. Probably. And you tell them, look, I got a drug problem. They don't ask no questions. They bring you right out to the centers or over to the vines. And uh, they're not to ask any questions. You could turn your paraphernalia in, whatever you got, and they have to put you in the car and drive you there with not one question asked. Yeah. I never had any problem with drugs or or uh, alcohol. I did get on a binge one time drinking uh, when I was still in Virginia, and they had these drive-through uh, liquor stores. You drive up side and they'd, they'd fix you a mixed drink and hand it to you. <laughs> and I got to doing that, and the next thing I know, I seen I was getting, my dad was an out lifelong alcoholic, and I believe it's something in your genes that makes you prone to being that way. I really do. I don't. I don't know that to be a fact, but um, my mother but, was an alcoholic. And once I seen I was getting hooked on that stuff, I, I, I quit it. I quit it. Well, let me get down there to Lauren and Hi, Russell. And Enjoy I'll see. your day. Okay. Talk to you later, Joey. You can tell her I said her name is Lauren. Okay. You know what? <sighs> yeah, I was recording it. Now, I'm going down here to see my lady friend. Put some more goodies she can put on her table. You know what? I'm going to look into doing, setting my tripod up here and doing a 24 hour time lapse of these, two, these Mexican tulips. I want to see, I want to see these fall off 
and then I won't see the new ones bloom out. And you know what I think? I think it's looking like these are spreading, but how are they? Are the limbs falling over and then taking root? Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. What about that? That's how they're spreading. I've seen these with um, white flowers, and I've seen them with, I think, kind of a reddish, pinkish flower. But see, you can see all kind of New ones that's gonna come out tomorrow. <clears throat> I see my baby over there wanting me to come around. He's getting bored. The internet's down. The internet's down and he's bored and he's being a pest. What? I can't hear you. Turn up your GoPro. Turn up your GoPro, dude. What? Turn up your GoPro. Stop. GoPro, stop recording. What is that? Your fig leaf? Um, it's hiding my underwear. GoPro, turn off. Oh no, GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Don't break that, baby. GoPro, stop recording! It don't understand you, it only understands me. <laughs> stop! GoPro, stop recording! What'd I tell you? GoPro, stop recording! I don't know who dumped these here, but... This crap's gonna stop. We ain't getting back like we was. Now why in the world would they do that? All right, now, now I'm gonna have to put the finishing touches on this. I think, I'm not sure. I don't like these right here. But really, there's nowhere else to put them. Um, nowhere else to put them. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this now. I'm thinking I'm going to get me a little air compressor. I should have never got rid of that one I had. But it was a, it was a curbside find and I didn't have anything in it other than picking it up. This, 
What the heck? Kind of. That comes out that way. That's a hell of a Is there some way to lock that thing? There ain't. I was right there. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>